proof that the Citizens United decision uh, winning attorney, Ted Olson, is possibly the biggest fraudster attorney you've, we've heard about in our entire lives. Uh, he claimed as during the 9-11 attack on our country, 2001, that his wife called him uh, from the airplane that she was on that had been hijacked in the 9-11 attack and told him what was going on and this could be their last conversation to, you know, tell the kids she loved them and so on. A tearful farewell. Uh, unfortunately for him, it's been proven in uh, uh, September 11, the New Pearl Harbor, a five hour documentary that the technology for uh, airplane to ground phone calls did not exist at that time. So this guy is a humongous liar. Um, and uh, dare I say this, um, and, and, and that, that's been proven. He tried to retract his claim uh, later on in, in the uh, developments relating to the 9-11 attack because he realized it, or he probably knew from the beginning, he was just lying straight out. And this is the fellow who won the, the Citizens United case, Theodore Olson. Uh, moreover, there's reason to suspect that his wife actually didn't die uh, and that uh, his claim to, re to have remarried his present wife, right? Um, he actually remarried his existing wife because she never died. And the, the, the evidence to support this in the YouTube video, um, September 11, the New Pearl Harbor, is that um, <clears throat> the, the 2006 wife looks almost exactly like uh, the, the one who supposedly died in 2001. Uh, but more importantly, uh, there's no record of the 2006 uh, alleged wife ever having existed before 2001. Do you follow me? I mean, if someone's 50 years old, they have a history and it should be able to be proven, especially someone high profile. And it can't be proven because she never existed. This was a manufactured identity uh, as far as it can be. The, the best uh, conclusion is that it's actually just a fabricated identity of the wife who actually never died in the attack. On a phone call that she was claiming to be dying or you know about to crash, that was technologically impossible.